What's good, Merc Empire? It's your boy, Merc. Okay, listen, we're here with the tutorial. Okay, a lot of people ask me to make tutorials on Twitch stuff. I'm not gonna waste your time. You're probably just here from a search. Listen, okay, you wanna know how to make your webcam look better for Twitch? <laughs> I got you. Obviously, the first thing you wanna do is have a good webcam. A lot of people like to start with the C920. Yeah, it, it it's a good webcam, you know? It's a good start webcam. But obviously, you can take that way further. You know, you can get the C930E, which is a little bit more and a little bit better. You can get the C922 if you want. Uh, or you can even get the 4K Brio, which is the webcam I use right now. The main webcam I use is the Logitech 4K Brio, okay? It's like $200, but you get pretty good quality. So it's kind of like you get what you pay for. Now, obviously, if you really, really, really wanted to, if you have, like, uh, you know, some sort of professional camera uh, or DSLR. I don't even know where my DSLR is. You can also use the Elgato Cam Link or something else to link up your camera to OBS. And then you can use, like, a professional camera and have, like, the best camera ever. And yeah, whatever. But we're going to work with whatever we got. So whatever you got, uh, I'm assuming this is a webcam. Check this out. This is OBS. See this? See this? It's OBS. Um, this is one thing. Uh, that I did that will change the game for you. Now, obviously, you're not going to go anywhere if you don't have good lighting, okay? Obviously, you need good lighting. I'm not even going to sit here. Oh, there's a car that just passed by. You see that? That is a studio light. It's probably like, I don't know, 90 bucks on, you know, whatever, Amazon, okay? Get a studio light. Get a light. Get a good light that will, you know, look beautiful on you. This is a ring light. Obviously, you can get a softbox if you want. You can get whatever you want. Uh, I have a cone in the background. Okay, anyway, check this out. So a lot of people would just go ahead and they'll add their their video capture device and they'll just be like, oh yeah, sure, this is my webcam. No, you don't just do that. I mean, like, yes, you do that. But you want to go ahead and actually double click on it, right? Or you could even just right click properties. Okay, brings it here. Configure video. This makes all the difference, okay? If you think this is obvious, great. That's perfect. There, believe it or not, there are so many people that have no idea what this is and never use it, okay? And it makes a huge difference, okay? A huge difference. If you go ahead and play around with these settings, you can make your stuff look amazing. Now, if you have everything on auto, it's probably going to look stupid. Can I even... I'm sure this thing generally turns on on auto. Um, usually, the white balance is definitely on auto, uh, as well as the exposure. Yep, see that? Okay, this is what happens when you plug in your webcam and it's just it's just the webcam the way it's supposed to be. Uh, no, we don't do that. Okay, because it looks terrible, obviously. Now it probably had me on here, yeah. So it had me on like negative five exposure. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that. I usually have it at like seven or six. I think six is a good number. Okay, the other thing is white balance. You put that on auto and it's gonna be like yeet. Okay, no. So white balance basically. See, you got the temperature. Okay, it's either freaking blue or you're freaking orange, okay? You want to try to find somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. I forgot what I just had it at, but I had it at something. Whatever it is, you want to try to find somewhere in the middle that's not too blue, not too orange, unless if you want a specific tint. You know, sometimes I like it a little bit more orange because, you know, obviously I got the whole orange theme. There's a freaking cone right there, okay? I have a basketball shoe line and they're orange, okay? But uh, it's up to you, whatever you want. Obviously, you got brightness as well. Uh, I don't really touch brightness, but, you know, you can add some contrast if you really wanted to. Add some contrast. Make it a little bit saturated. You want to be all freaking colorful? Go ahead and be colorful. But the main thing here is just mess around with it, okay? Play with it. Do whatever you want, okay? I mainly, you know, go ahead and I adjust the exposure and the white balance. Pretty often, whenever I restart OBS, it seems to just restart back in auto and I have to do it all over again but uh you know go ahead and find the perfect settings for you stick with it mess with the gain a little bit if you want okay whatever you want literally literally whatever you want okay you don't need this most likely I don't think this even does anything but yeah literally really quick easy tutorial that will probably change your streaming career forever okay Believe it or not, I spent years not knowing this and legitimately had my stuff looking all saturated. I mean, not saturated. Well, actually, it was probably saturated. Uh, the exposure was through the roof. Okay, the lowering the exposure actually ends up helping your frame rate, help everything look smooth. So, you know, go ahead 
and mess with it. Mess with everything. Get it all looking beautiful. You can thank me later or you can thank me now by dropping a like or comment. Just to, please give me a sub. I'm trying here. I'm trying. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. Work out.